Hi, I'm Scott with ASUS, and I'm here today to tell you about the new Android 4.0 operating system using the ASUS Transformer Prime, the world's first quad-core tablet that runs on ice cream sandwich. Fans of Android will notice an immediate difference starting at the unlock screen. Whereas the previous generation only allows you to unlock straight to the home page, in the new generation, you have a second option. You can either unlock to the home page by moving to the right, or directly to the camera by moving to the left. Android made it easy for users to organize themselves by putting together both the applications and the widgets into one section. Users can further organize their tablets by pairing like applications together in groups, thereby reducing the clutter on each page. Ice Cream Sandwich makes the browser more functional for users as they can quickly switch between the mobile and the desktop versions of websites. To do so, simply tap on the top right hand corner of your screen and come down to Request Desktop Site. Another feature of this update allows users to save information from the internet and access it when the web is no longer available. They can do so by clicking in the top right corner and scrolling down to Save for Offline Reading. Clicking on Bookmarks, which is also in the top right corner, and scrolling over Past History to Saved Pages. The final feature I'll be talking about today is the camera. Now, to get to the camera, you go back to the unlock screen. But instead of scrolling right like we did last time, we'll scroll to the left. You'll notice here in the bottom that there are three options. You have to take regular pictures, to take a video, and a panorama shot. A panorama shot is going to take a very wide picture, and it's going to end up looking a little bit like this. If you head back to the main screen, to the main picture screen, and then select video, you'll see that there are a lot of options you can add on to change the way you take a video. For example, I'm able to take a video and change the person's face in the video so that they have a big nose, big eyes, big mouth, small eyes, or a small mouth, or just a strange looking face. You can also put in a background image and then superimpose the person you're taking the video of in that image. An example of a video where the nose has been distorted is as follows. The final update I'll discuss today is our ability to edit a picture. After having taken a picture, simply click on the top right and come down to edit. Doing so will allow you to change the color of a picture, it will allow you to change the shape of a picture, and it will even allow you to take out the red eye, change the way the face glows, or even give someone a tan. Thanks for watching this video, and check out our Facebook fan page for more information. Inspiring innovation. Persistent perfection. ASUS.